Hello my lovelies and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's video is a long awaited haul. I haven't done a haul for a while, but this month I've been feeling very spendy. I also had my birthday this month, so I have gotten a few vouchers to spend and I also won a 500 pound voucher from Karen Millen. I entered the Lydia Millen and Karen Millen giveaway. So I will be showing you something that I've bought using that voucher today. I still have a little bit of money to spend on it. So there will be some more pieces to come. But first I should probably address the fact that I am in a robe. <laughs> I don't usually show up on YouTube in my pajamas, but this is part of the haul. I bought this from John Lewis. This was actually a leaving voucher, sorry, a John Lewis voucher from when I left my job back in February and it's just taken me ages to spend it. So I got this gorgeous robe from John Lewis and this beautiful, would you say that's a teal color with like a lovely, I think they're swans. So, so pretty. Just a really lovely robe to throw on and still look really glam and presentable rather than my old fluffy dressing gown that really needs to be thrown away. I also got some Marks and Spencers vouchers for my birthday this year and I decided to get a pair of white jeans. I'm not really a jeans girl, but I've noticed that women like me whose style doesn't really call for jeans, the jeans that they do have in their wardrobes do tend to be white jeans, so I thought I would give them a go. To be honest, I'm not entirely certain whether I want to keep these. They are meant to be sculpting jeans. I love a pair of like bum sculpting jeans or leggings. They just make me feel so much more confident and I just don't feel that these have that vibe about them. They're meant to be, but they, they just don't. I don't see that they really lift anything or sculpt anything. I think they just make my legs really bright and white which is not necessarily what I want but I might keep them anyway just because in spring although we are now into summer it is kind of hard to know what to wear on those days when it is a bit colder so a pair of white jeans might still feel very spring-like while still keeping me warm so it might just be useful to just keep these in my wardrobe I'm not sure let me know what you think the next item I got from Marks and Spencers was this gorgeous gilet which is actually from Jules I didn't know the Marks and Spencers sell different brands but apparently they do and Jules is one of them it's a really really nice brand if you are into the countryside -y look they also have a lot of dachshund details on their clothes not on this one, but on lots of their other stuff they do. I just really like this. I think it's really lovely, like Kate Middleton, like old money, going out and going for a walk in the countryside, going for a walk in the Cotswolds, going out gardening, not that I have a garden, but you know, those sort of vibes and would just be really handy to keep me warm when it's not really cold enough for a coat, but I don't want to be freezing. Really lovely colour, obviously. It does have pockets, I believe. Yes, it does. Um, and yeah, just a very, very classic piece. And now we have the pièce de résistance of this entire haul. <gasps> it is the most gorgeous coat. This is what I bought with my Karen Millen voucher that I was so lucky to win in a giveaway on Instagram. And it is just stunning. I know that this is obviously a bit, in fact, everything I've shown you is a bit out of season, but this is the time of year that I really like to buy my autumn winter pieces because they're all on sale. This would normally be around 400, I believe. I got it for 200. To be honest, I'm glad that I didn't spend 400 because I don't think the quality is really there. Like I think this belt just looks really quite poor quality, like it looks quite plasticky. And um, there are other details on the coat that I think look much better quality. Like I think the, the leather effect everywhere else is really nice. But to be honest, I would expect real leather for that price. I obviously didn't pay for it, well I didn't pay anything because I used that voucher, but I'm not even sure that the quality really calls for 200 pounds. I think it, it's really more the design that calls for that. I do think that Cara Millen have got a bit cocky with their pricing. They were always expensive, but I think the quality used to match the pricing, whereas now I just don't really think that is the case. I think they are really more focused on the look and design of their clothes rather than considering what materials they're using. This does have wool in it. So if you have a look at the label, we have 54% polyester, 44% wool, which is good, 2% elastane, and then the contrast, which I think is like the leathery looking bits, that's 48, uh, sorry, 60% polyurethane and 40% polyester and the lining is 100% viscous. So I think viscous is a natural material, I believe, um, and wool, obviously. But to be honest, in a coat of that price, I would expect a much higher percentage of wool. I think I heard 
a few years ago that you should be looking for kind of around 70% wool content in your coats to ensure that they do actually keep you warm. So I'm glad that I didn't pay full price, but I do think that the design of this coat, the look of it is absolutely stunning. It's very me. It goes along with that like countryside-y vibes look as well. And it's just so different. I love items of clothing that are very classic, but also a bit different. And that's totally what this gives me. The pockets are functional, thank goodness. I hate it when you buy coats and they don't have functional pockets, especially when they are higher price. I mean, it's just beautiful. Obviously it's in very neutral, classic brown color palette. So it's gonna go with everything. Oh, it's just gorgeous. I'm really quite excited for autumn now. I know we're only in summer, but I'm so excited for autumn so that I can wear this. The beady-eyed among you will notice that I have removed my lipstick for this portion of the video, and that is because the last item in the haul is this lipstick from Charlotte Tilbury. I'll come a bit closer so you can see it properly. So this is the Red Wishes shade, and it is just a very, very true bright red. So a very, very classic colour and I have been looking for bolder lipsticks lately. I've always been more of a eye makeup girl but I'm quite lazy when it comes to my makeup now so I like a bold lipstick because A I think it suits my features quite well. I'm quite high contrast um, because I've got a lot darker, well naturally my hair is a lot darker than my skin. My skin is like ghostly pale <laughs> and so I find that higher contrast makeup suits me really well. If I do like really dark eyes, I feel like that brings out my eyes really well. And if I do a darker or a bolder lipstick, I feel like that looks good too. So I've been keeping my eye out for them lately. I'm quite fussy with them, but I just feel like if you're wearing a really bold lipstick, you can get away with a lot less makeup on the rest of your face because the lipstick just steals the look anyway. So I'm gonna pop this on. That is what it looks like. I think it suits me pretty well, but it is kind of hard to get used to it because I've been wearing like nudie pinky lipsticks for years now and bolder looks are a bit of a novelty. <laughs> so yeah, let me know what you think of this. As always guys, let me know what you thought of this video. Let me know what your favorite pieces were from the haul. I will see you next Sunday at 6 p.m. as always. Have an amazing week, bye.